The Republic Day Parade 2022 saw the grandest and largest fly past ever with the participation of 75 aircraft, that concluded with 17 Jaguar strike aircraft flying in the Emirate formation, to commemorate the 75 years of independence. Among the other aircraft that displayed their might at the parade are Rafael aircraft, Indian Navy's MiG-29K, P-8I surveillance aircraft and Su-30 fighter jets. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has started work on a next-generation advanced lightweight torpedo, and has also released a tender for the procurement of four units of composite pump jet propulsor with titanium hub, that will not only reduce its weight, but also reduce its acoustic signature. The next-generation advanced lightweight torpedo can be launched from submarine ships and anti-submarine helicopters, and will have higher speed and range than the existing Cheyenne advanced light torpedo. It is expected to be ready for user trials by the Indian Navy in 2025, and will also have a big export potential. The first wind tunnel model of futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft has started testing at the National Tunnel Test Facility at IIT Kanpur at subsonic speeds, and as per latest reports, a second wind tunnel model is also being developed, that will be tested at transonic speeds of up to Mach 1.2, and as this is not the final design configuration, there is a high possibility that the futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft will be a supersonic platform. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has issued a request for proposal for the development and supply of remote-controlled weapon station for light tank. Bharat Electronics Limited has also placed a bid for the procurement of driver night sight for DRDO's light tank project. The first prototype of the DRDO's Larsen and Tubro light tank has entered fabrication, and it will be unveiled in 2023. A promotional video of the number 15 squadron flying lances that are equipped with the Su-30, was seen with patches of Astra Pioneers, which suggests that the Astra Mark 1 missile has become operational with the squadron, and are now part of the combat air patrol sorties. The flying lances squadron has been tasked to prepare optimum firing protocols of the missiles and its standard operating procedure, that will be later followed by all Su-30 squadrons that will adopt the Astra Mark 1. Russia's Tactical Missiles Corporation has started serial production of the export-oriented air-to-air missile RVVBD, that has an operational range of 398 km, and is capable of hypersonic speed of Mach 5 in the final stage of its flight. Indian military experts have said, that the serial production of the RVVBD indicates that Russia has received an export order, and the potential buyers include India Vietnam and Egypt. Indian Navy's frontline destroyer INSV Sakipatnam conducted a par 6 exercise with the German Navy frigate FGS Bayern, and the exercise also saw cross-deck helicopter operation by the naval Druf Mark III helicopter, that was inducted into the Navy in June 2021. The $375 million Brahmos export deal between India and Philippines will be signed on 28 January, at the headquarters of the Philippines National Defense Department in Quezon City. A similar deal for Brahmos missile is under discussion with Vietnam, along with Akash NGR defense missiles. Pakistan Navy held an induction ceremony for the first Type 54A frigate at the Navy dockyard in Karachi, which also makes it the largest and most advanced surface combat vessel that China has ever exported. Pakistan will also commission the first new medium-class corvette from Turkey, and offshore patrol vessels from the Netherlands in 2022.